hi darlings. I just thought I'd give you a bit of a laugh and show you um, how I woke up this morning. My hair looks like, I want to say Brian McFadden, maybe. <laughs> he was actually my childhood love, Brian McFadden. I was obsessed with him from Westlife. Anyway, good morning darlings. Welcome to the penultimate vlogmas. Tomorrow will be my last vlogging day, the day that you're watching this will be the eve of Christmas Eve and I don't publish vlogs on Christmas Day because that's just too much work. <laughs> so tomorrow will be the last vlog, that's so exciting. Um, but I have decided that I am going to film little snippets throughout the festive period and I'll probably upload that on like the 27th, 28th whenever I get around to editing it. Um, so do make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell turned on if you want to see what we actually... Look at this weird curl situation. <laughs> if you want to see what we actually get up to at Christmas because it's our first proper Christmas in the house this year. Obviously we've got loads of family coming over, we're doing so many fun things and yeah, I, th I think it's a shame to not vlog that bit because there's going to be so many lovely festivities going on. My breakfast this morning is a giant cinnamon bun. You might have seen me picking these up. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Mm. Mm. Oh, that is blooming good. That is good. You might have seen me picking those up from Soho Farmhouse Blake's Kitchen yesterday. What a way to start the day. So I'm going to just quickly do my makeup. I'm going to be testing a new foundation. I had a lovely delivery from Charlotte Tilbury. This is what came in the delivery. And it is her new beautiful skin foundation. So I thought I would put it to the test. Also in the delivery, they very kindly sent over a complexion brush. And I usually use a sponge. But I will give this a try this morning. I've seen people raving. What is that bit of plastic useful for? I don't really think it's necessary. It's a flat brush. I'm not sure if that's how I will want to apply my foundation, but we'll give it a go. They've sent three different colours. So I've got Cool Freud Natural Neutral Neutral Neuter. Also Neutral Neuter. Not sure. I think I'm going to go for this one. I'm going to apply my By Terry CC Serum first. Not sure if my By Terry discount code is still active. If it is, I'll leave it linked down below. But yeah, I've seen so many people raving about this foundation. It looks like this. Oh, no, it looks like this. <laughs> so let's give it a go. I want to eat my cinnamon bun while I'm applying my makeup. So I'm just gonna apply it and then I'll come back to you and give you my thoughts. This morning on the agenda, um, it's currently about 10 p.m. I've got loads that I want to do before midday. My nails, um, as you can tell, let me show you how awful they are at the moment. Broken nail here, chipped nail here, chipped nails here, grown out nails. Luckily, I've got an appointment with Hayley today. I booked this appointment back in November for my festive nails. So that's happening today at quarter past two. At midday-ish today, Charlie's mum, dad and granddad are coming over to drop off Christmas gifts so that they don't have so much to put in their car. Um, so I need to tidy the house before they get here. I also want to wrap my presents before I get my nails done because I feel like wrapping presents, like picking away at sellotape, can ruin your nails. So I want to do that before my nail appointment. Um, I also want to finish, finish work this morning. I need to do about an hour of work. Um, just completely finishing going through my inbox, sending lots of analytics and lots of <laughs> invoices so that I can get paid before the end of the year. Um, so yeah, I'd really like to get all of that done before midday. So I'm not going to um, distract myself too much. Oh my gosh, I've also got, um, if I'm wrapping Christmas gifts, I've got some personalizing of some Christmas gifts that I need to do as well. I'll show you all of that later. I'm gonna get some makeup on. Let's start with my By Terry Glowy Base because wow, I need it at the moment. This is just instant life for my skin, oh my goodness. I've just finished doing my makeup and I feel like I'm on the edge of sneezing. Oh, 
Okay, first impressions. Um, I've not put any powder on yet and I am sat in front of a cold morning light window so I feel like I'm a little bit bluer than I should be. But I am very impressed. That felt went on really really easily. I actually completely forgot to try the Charlotte Tilbury brush. Um, I used my By Terry makeup sponge. Obviously I did put on my By Terry CC serum beforehand and I had used my Aurelia probiotic moisturizer this morning. So yeah, I applied it with my sponge um, and it went on really really easily. I used the shade 4 neutral, number 4 neutral and I feel like it's a great colour for my skin. I have been misting my face with the Oscar Adaptive Tan Mist. Um, every like once every three days, I'm probably gonna apply it a little bit more frequently now into the lead up of Christmas because then I'll look a little bit more glowing and alive when I actually wake up in the morning. So beautiful skin foundation for your best healthy looking skin every day. And let me tell you what it says on the box. Um, a medium coverage, yep, I would say it's medium coverage. Light as air. You. Foundation infused with hydrating hyaluronic acid, brightening rose complex. Skin looks more beautiful instantly and over time for a healthy looking glow and a brighter, smoother looking complexion. But looking in the mirror, I always think the camera never looks as nice, unfortunately. But looking in the mirror, I really like how my skin looks. It's glowy, it does look healthy. Um, I don't know about plumped, plumper and smoother. Maybe, maybe it does. I'm going to apply a teeny tiny bit of my By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder, which doesn't mattify and get rid of the glow, but if I have those areas, which I do like on my T-zone, that tend to get a bit shiny, and then underneath my eyes, um, where my makeup tends to crease, and on my chin, where it tends to vanish, that's what I would usually do to finish off my makeup look. And yeah, my skin still looks glowing. I added the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. I might need to get a new one of these fairly soon. I've had this one for about a year, to be honest. And I'm only just hitting pan. My By Terry Amber Light Blusher. My By Terry VIP Bonjour Paris eyeshadow palette. Um, and then I used Anastasia Brow Wiz on my brows. And then Charlotte Tilbury Clear Brow Gel. Brow Fix. And that's... Oh, and then of course... Where is it? by Terry Hydra Balm in the shade number two on my lips. So fairly easy, takes me five minutes everyday makeup look with Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Okay, I'm, yeah, really, really pleased with how my makeup looks. It looks fresh, it looks glowing, it looks healthy. Um, shame my hair does not look <laughs> as good today. But anyway, I'm gonna get dressed now and try and tackle some of my morning to-do list. As always, my makeup sometimes looks better slash different when I actually hold up the camera. Um, and if I step away from the window, you can see in, well, <laughs> not natural light, but a slightly softer light. Just, yeah, nice. I think the color is really, really good for my skin. Um, mm, so that's my first impressions of the Charlotte Tilbury, what's it called? Beautiful, beautiful skin foundation. I am very much doing this kind of half up, half down hairstyle on day two hair days because my hair, as I have complained about before, I don't really have a parting. I try and force a parting, but it doesn't really exist and I can't really leave my hair just to fall naturally, especially on day two hair. So just scraping away the top half, but leaving the bottom half down has kind of become my go-to because it's one of the only hairstyles that actually works with my hair. Boo-hoo! <laughs> um, but I've just popped on my favourite Karen Mellon dress again. I just love the shape, I love the length, I love that I can wear this for like a day at home, especially when I'm going to get my nails done and Charlie's mum and dad and Dada are coming. So I wanted something a little bit more than leggings and a jumper today and I received these yesterday from a brand called Carel, C-A-R-E-L, I think it's a Parisian brand um, and I just love a pair of boots, I thought they were rather gorgeous, they are brown suede so before I put them on I need to liquid proof them. Looks like I've actually run out of official liquid proof but I've got a suede protector here. I'm going to put the Dyson fan on because it does say to do it in a well ventilated area.
and there we go, nicely protected. You can see it's quite a low chunky block heel, um, so these are going to be perfect for driving and those days when I need to be on my feet all day. It's a nice little height boost but without being uncomfortably high. This dress is actually too long for me so I need to get this dress um, shortened because I want to be able to wear it on like a daily basis like today but even with this little chunky block heel you can see you can see it's got about an inch uh, it's about an inch too long on the floor but anyway I'm procrastinating now by vlogging so I'm gonna head downstairs get all my invoices done finally um, and then I've got just over an hour left hopefully to do some wrapping before my nail appointment Okay, my darlings, you wouldn't know it, but it's actually a couple of hours later. I think I have done all my admin. Ah, oh, Lilia. <laughs> Feels so good to say that, but I have just spent the last couple of hours sending out invoices, so I think I am now officially done, which is a great feeling. And I've just had a delivery, my reward. <laughs> um, this is actually perfect timing because this delivery contains a few last minute Christmas gifts and also some cozy clothing for myself. It is an order that I placed on Everlane. I mentioned Everlane about a month ago um, and it was my first kind of impression of Everlane when I placed that order. And I have been blown away by the quality of the pieces. I've been wearing their knitwear so much. Um, Sorry, I sound a bit nasal. I think I'm <laughs> fighting off a bit of a, I don't want to say flu, um, a bit of a cold, let's say, but I'm going to take a lemon sip in a second. Um, but yeah, all the more reason to put some more cosy clothing on. So I placed another order, including some bits for myself to see me through the miserable January months. Months? It literally feels like plural, doesn't it? January, I remember last year on January the 15th, I just could not believe that we were still in January. So I just want to make sure that I'm fully snuggly and cosy. I will insert some try on clips over the top, but I don't have time to try on right now. So you'll be seeing clips from the future. First thing that I chose was this gorgeous double breasted cardigan. I think double breasted just gives everything that quite old-fashioned like cozy granddad reading a newspaper by the fire that kind of vibe it's a really lovely thick knit and in case you don't remember last time i mentioned everlane everything that they do they just strive to be better so whether it's making sure that their factories have impeccable working conditions for their staff ensuring that everyone within the company gets paid a fair wage um really good quality materials that they use. Everything that they do is just really well thought out, beautiful quality pieces at really fair prices. And you know that this fairness has gone all the way through the supply chain. So it's a company that I really, really like to support. So it says on here, we reveal the story behind every product from our ethical manufacturing process to our transparent pricing breakdown. Visit everlane.com to learn more. And you really can see everything about the supply chain on their website. And, and obviously the product products are amazing as well so yeah really gorgeous classic double breasted cozy I'm gonna call this my granddad cardigan and this is 100% wool so look out for those more natural fabric combinations or pure pure wool or pure cashmere because that's gonna keep you so nice and warm they just make for the most amazing layering pieces um, and yeah wool pieces will keep you seriously snugly warm even if it's not the thickest it's not gonna be too much of a bulky layer but a very toasty layer most importantly. Now I'm not sure if when I placed my last order Evelyn even did jumper dresses back then but I saw this one and it is in my favourite colour this kind of biscuity almost mushroomy brown shade and I love to pair things like this with over knee boots, brown boots, a lovely gilet, a crossbody bag it's just I feel like you guys know, <laughs> as soon as I saw this on the website, instantly added to basket. And again, if you do choose jumper dresses in really lovely natural fabrics, this one is actually 100% cashmere. Then once again, it's just going to keep you so toasty warm and you don't have to just wear jeans and a knit to be warm and look fabulous and feel cozy. This winter, I would wear this with thermal tights. You could wear a thermal top underneath it. But again, just the fact that it's cashmere means this is going to be so lovely and snugly soft so that is a piece that I can already tell <laughs> I'm gonna live in come January and also that weird I saw someone refer to it in a Christmas um, in an email today as the crimbo limbo <laughs> it literally is that period between Christmas and New Year when 
you just want to be cozy, you want to be snuggly. So many of my friends, I can't believe that so many of my friends are actually going to be in isolation during Christmas. Um, I can't believe it, so tragic. Charlie and I are just going to be so, so careful. We've only got four days to go. So we're just going to be super duper careful between now and Christmas because, oh my God, I mean, Christmas would literally be cancelled for our entire family if either of us got COVID right now. I'm not even going to think about it. <laughs> okay, so I did mention I picked up a few Christmas gifts and I just thought you cannot go wrong with a really lovely kind of chunky knit. Let me show you up close. It's almost like a waffle square kind of knit, um, but still really classic at the same time. Is it wool or is it cashmere? I can't remember which one I ordered. 100% wool um, scarf and I think for Charlie's brother's girlfriend Petra I think this is going to be the perfect gift for her she very often actually walks to work and I think this is just going to keep her really snugly warm she's got a very classic elegant wardrobe quite similar to my own style um, and I think that this will be a really lovely gift for her I've said in previous videos I think that a classic scarf just makes for the most gorgeous gift idea and knowing that I'm going to want to add cozy layers to lots of outfits I thought I'd experiment with this v-neck and you know what I'm I'm actually gonna pop it on over the top of what I'm wearing right now because I feel like a cashmere or wool v-neck it's not gonna look great with the neckline of this dress not bad actually not bad it's just a way of just instantly making your favorite outfits that little bit cozier that added layer of warmth around the body to be honest I probably I do actually quite like it how it is and I could cinch this in with a belt but um, over the top of a blouse it's a great way of adding a layer of warmth to the just keeping your core warm on those really cold days you just want that extra layer of warmth around your body um but yeah over a blouse or over a polo neck that could look really nice and it's this thick kind of um classic cable knit style design let me know how you guys would style something like this in the comment section down below because it is the kind of thing that I know I see cool girls on Instagram wearing and I do struggle to style them but I thought I'd add one of these to my order um, just to see see how I can style it with a few different things in my wardrobe. I did also pick up the scarf in this classic tan or kind of more camely or caramelly colour I'd call this and I think that my mum will really really like this again for everything from going out for social occasions with her friends to dog walks I just think that a really warm scarf and my mum's got lots of those more kind of thin pashmina style scarves but I thought a really nice thick one that she can wrap herself up in I'm sure she won't mind if I give it a little try wrap yourself up in you know on, on those days when it's just so bitterly cold but you still want to go for a nice walk or you just want something really snuggly up around your neck up around your face and if you've got a bobble hat on as well speaking of which it's obviously not a bobble um, but I did pick up this hat as well. Is this wool or is this cashmere? 97% wool, dry clean only and elastane. Um, <laughs> nice flat hair day I've got going on. This I'm going to keep because I just love a cosy hat and all of my hats at the moment have got bobbles um, but I did want one that was a little bit more plain and this is so perfect. This is literally perfect because every other hat that I've tried on, I don't want to take this off now, I'm so snugly warm. Um, yes, every other hat that I've tried that doesn't have a bobble is so long, it's like so much length here, like those ancient Egyptians that had the like long heads. Do you know that? Or maybe it's that film Alien, I don't know. But the, the humans with the long heads were not made like that. I don't know why these hats are so long. I think it looks like... I'm sorry this is gross, but I think it looks like a condom on your head when people wear those hats that are like all floppy. I know it's like a young, cool person thing, but I just think it looks ridiculous. And this one is a really nice, not too long hat. Sorry to love, I might have to steal this scarf, it is so gorgeous. Oh. But no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it as a gift. Um, but yeah, I love the hat. The hat is a little treat to myself and it is just absolutely gorgeously soft really really classic and then last but not least <laughs> I've gone quite overboard here I've actually ordered three pairs of slippers one for me <laughs> one for Lilla and one for Charlie's Nan and they are just the most gorgeous slippers I haven't decided which pair I'm going to keep for myself but they are so snuggly soft they're this kind of like sheep's um sheep's wool effect slipper but just 
easy to slide on, really, really classic. Um, I think that receiving a good quality pair of slippers at Christmas is such a gorgeous gift idea um, because we often don't treat ourselves to really good quality slippers. They've got a really uh, solid, well-made sole as well. So if you do need to dash out for any particular reason, which I often do, I know Lala often does as well, and I'm sure Charlie's nan will appreciate a good solid sole. So yes, I'm so pleased that this has arrived in time. And I've also just had a text from DPD that um, my secret Santa gift for, I'm not gonna say what it is because I have a feeling the person that I purchased my secret Santa for might watch this video. Um, but yes, I'm gonna do all of my wrapping now. I think I've got, I actually don't know what time Charlie's mum and dad are getting here, but I've got an hour until I need to leave for my nail appointment, so I am going to... Oh, first I need to do the personalisation. Mm. Right, I'm going to get that done, then it's time to wrap. Hopefully I'll have time to do all of that before Charlie's parents get here and then nails. Does anyone else have this like last minute flurry of bits that you need to do before Christmas and suddenly you realise you actually have quite a lot that you still need to do? Okay. Less stressing, more doing. <laughs> okay, hello darlings, welcome back to the office. I feel like it's gonna get dark any second now, <laughs> so I need to get cracking. As I mentioned, I have a little bit of a crafty task to take part in this afternoon, which I love. I love that at this time of year, now that work is starting to like, finish. <laughs> Gives me goosebumps saying that I'm so excited for the next couple of weeks to actually switch off and I have time to do things that I wish I had more time to do. I have always been quite a crafty person. You may or may not know that I actually used to make my own jewellery. I used to make charm bracelets and necklaces and earrings inspired by sweets. So I used to make like dolly mixture, fast food charms, licorice all sorts and attach... Th I, I used to make them out of clay um, and turn them into earrings and all kinds of accessories. I've just always loved doing crafty things, but I just don't really make time for it anymore. But at this time of year, I feel like this is the time to get back into it. So you may have seen um, a few different creators working with a company called Cricut, and I'm also working with them. So thank you very much to Cricut for sponsoring this part of the video. They, uh, hands up, I'd actually never heard of these machines before, and they are amazing. I love to give, I'm going to show it to you in a second, um, it's not this, this is actually the item that I'm going to be doing my crafty things on. So basically, um, what I'm going to be doing this afternoon is creating some personalised Christmas gifts using my Cricut machine. I have got the Cricut Explore 3, it's right here, I'm going to show you in a second, um, and I'm going to be personalising a few different things for Christmas. So. The first thing that I'm going to be personalising, um, I've got three of these, and they are the beautiful bottles from a company called Hydronista. I featured these last year in my Christmas gift guide, um, and gave a few as gifts, and they were so well received that I thought I would gift them again this year. I like to give things which are sustainable, but also pretty, and these are just about as beautiful as it comes. So it's the most gorgeous quality glass bottle. Um, I personally use mine for drinking just water. You can, inf there's a little section in the top here. Um, so gorgeous gold lid, it's really, really beautiful. And then there's a section in the top here um, which you can put whatever you like in. So you could put like loose tea leaves, you could put warm water in here, um, you can put little bits of fruit to infuse your water to make your water more exciting, or if like me you just want to drink normal water, you can just take that bit out, and then you have got a gorgeous drinking bottle. However, Seeing as now I've bought these for a few different people, I thought we're going to get them mixed up. So it's the prime item to personalise, and that is what I'm going to use my Cricut Explore 3 for. So what the Cricut machines are, is they're essentially a cutting machine. That is like the, the simplest way of putting it. it. That doesn't cover what it does. It's like kind of like a Thermomix in that you don't really realise how capable it is of doing lots of different things until you really start playing with it. This can do... It's a smart cutting machine, so you'll see in a second I've got um, a system up on my laptop where I can write words, I can add diagrams. I've actually commissioned someone um, to create a kind of sketch of our house, and I'm hoping I might be able, it's probably a bit late for this year, but I'm hoping I might be able to create um, Christmas cards that have like cutouts of our house on them. If not, I'll probably use it for like place settings at Christmas. It can do drawing, it can do cutting, it can do foiling, so many different things. Um, so what I'm gonna be doing right 
right now because this is one of my first craft projects with the Cricut is literally just writing people's names on beautiful gold. I've got lots of different um, sheets of craft material. So something that you can actually buy directly from Cricut are these smart vinyls. Um, so it's kind of like a big peely sticker, which is great fun. You can see I've already started playing around with this. I think this is the one that I'm going to use now. It is beautiful sparkly gold. And then I think I've got a matte gold somewhere as well. I was thinking if you have your own business, whether you're making, um, whether you're an Etsy seller or if you just love to like make things for friends, then this is such a great machine to have. It's, I think they, they say it's twice as fast as it's predecessor machine. It can cut over a hundred different materials. Um, but I think I'm mostly going to use it for personalizing things. But it's one of those things that once you go down the rabbit hole and you go on Pinterest and you see all the creative things that people are doing, then the world is your oyster. There are so many different things that you can do. So as I said, this is going to be quite a basic project. I'm going to be using the design space on my MacBook, which is the software that kind of comes with the Cricut. You can Bluetooth it or you can use a wire to connect it. But this here is my Cricut machine and let me show you how satisfying this is. Excuse all the stuff that I've got everywhere. It tucks itself away all nice and neatly but then when you press this button, dun dun dun, so satisfying. So this is where the magic happens. I believe I've got six different cutting tools. It's not a printer. I know it looks like a printer but it doesn't print. There's no ink. It's a cutting tool under here um, so you can cut designs from, as I said, over a hundred different types of material. But I'm going to be personalizing my water bottles using the vinyl. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, we have just about got enough sunlight left that I can show you the bits um, that I have made. So now it's probably easiest for me to show you with my dress in the background. Um, so I've got Annie written here in sparkly gold and the gold really beautifully matches the top here. I think that looks absolutely gorgeous. It's still sometimes with craft projects, like I wanted to find a grown up craft project and do something that people are actually gonna use, not just be like, oh, that's cute, and then never use it again. I wanted to do something really practical um, and a gift that people are genuinely really going to like. So I love that. Um, and then I used a slightly different font for Scarlet. Lots of fonts come free with the design, um, the design space. And then I also added Charlie's mum's name, Viv, onto this bauble to make a really nice personalized, so bright, so shiny, love the gold, um, personalized Christmas bauble. And I think I'm also gonna make some name stickers for some of my own things, like my laptop. You know, you could even like do your, I mean, how easy would it be to do this? Sorry, my phone case needs a clean, but that'd be so easy to just add your name onto things. So really, really fun craft project, really easy to use, so quick as well. If you have got your own business, I think it's such a nice idea to be able to offer personal personalization, um, or even if you're just a really crafty person and you love to make homemade gifts and personalized gifts, it really does mean the world to someone to show that you've put in that time and that love and that effort. So. I love it. Um, I want to do more crafty things. If you've got one and you have a favorite thing to use it for, then please let me know. But yeah, I'll leave it linked down below. Also, this would be such a good gift idea for someone that you know that's really crafty. Such a nice gift idea, really, really thoughtful. Um, so yeah, I'll leave a link to my exact machine and the Cricut website as a whole link down below. But for now, um, I need to go and do some wrapping. Okay, so a change of outfit because I've just tried on, just tried on the try on clips. <laughs> I've just done the try on clips for Everlane and then all chaos started at the house. So we have these guys here at the moment um, and they have been trying for two to three hours to fit an antique sofa into our house. By the looks of it, I can't see a sofa in the doorway so I think they must have managed it. 
Um, and while that was in mid chaos, Charlie's parents and Dada arrived. So I was like manically making coffees. Our house, I've said this before in vlogs, but our house is a madhouse. There is always something going on. It's always a little bit manic, um, but we always get everything done. So I'm quite relieved to be escaping. I think the sofa's in now, so Charlie be less stressed. Um, but yes, so they're all gonna have lunch. I just quickly had a bowl of soup with Charlie's granddad, and now I'm escaping the madness to go and get my nails done. I haven't even had a second to think about what I'm gonna do, festive design-wise. Um, maybe just a nice classic kind of ombre glitter. We shall see, but um, yes. It is all go today. <laughs> Okay, festive nails are done. Can you see? Probably not. Um, I completely forgot to put any rings on today, but I just decided to go for simple glitter, just a full on glitter nail. Um, and they look fabulous, and I feel like glitter just goes with everything. So nothing, nothing too jazzy or intricate, but they look absolutely gorgeous. Um, <laughs> I needed to sneeze so badly the whole time I was in there, but I was like, I don't want Haley to think that I've got COVID, so I'm gonna hold it in. So boy, oh boy, did I have a good old sneeze when I sat in the car. Um, Charlie's mum and dad and dad are still at the house and they have requested fish and chips. So I am going to head to Stow on the World to Greedy's because they are the best fish and chips we've decided. And I'm very happy about that because I love a good fish and chips. So, <sighs> yummy. Gosh, today's vlog is unintentionally becoming a car vlog. How boring. Um, but I realized that the chip shop doesn't open until half past four and I would have got there at five to four. So I've taken a little pit stop to Dalesford. <coughs> what a hard life. And I picked up my oat milk chai latte to warm the cockles. Mm. Oh, it's the best. And I have made some <laughs> last minute Christmas purchases. Charlie and I don't do big gifts for each other, we just do stockings. So I thought I'd get some Dalesford edible bits to pop in his. Some Laube olive oil. They don't just do wine, they do olive oil as well. Um, and Charlie and I love nothing more than a proper fresh crusty bit of bread dipped in oil and vinegar and I thought this sounded lovely fig leaf wine vinegar fresh fig balanced with acidity gives way to notes of almond and toffee so I thought that could be the dream combination and then obviously Charlie doesn't drink so I saw this sea arch non-alcoholic distilled spirit he loves seed lip um, but it's always nice to try something else and I got two more boxes of the traditional Dalesford mince pies. The only mince pies, oh, actually no, that's a lie, the ones from the butchers are a nine and a half out of 10 as well. But now that we've faffed about a little bit at Dalesford, um, we should get to Greedy's fish and chip shop. That is a nice defender. Who's this at? Oh, it's an old boy. <laughs> yes, we should be at the fish and chip shop just in time for them to open. <laughs> this really is turning into a car vlog, but I have got the goods. I have got... Ooh, I have got the Greedy's fish and chips, quite literally. I've ordered two cods. A place, a battered sausage, a scampi for Charlie, and I've even ordered some scraps, which are the little crispy bits, for me, for the road home. These are the little bits that fall off and they are so good. Mmm! Yummy! Okay. What playlist shall I listen to on the way home? I'm gonna give the Piano Guys Christmas songs another chance. Piano Guys Christmas 2021. Here we go. 
home again and this room is looking ultra cozy. Everyone is helping themselves to the fish and chips and the news sofa is in situ. We haven't had a chance to play around with the furniture positioning yet, but I think this is a pretty good place for it. If you imagine that the tree obviously isn't going to always be here, it's already been occupied as you can tell. So it's one of these gorgeous traditional knot style sofas that I have always wanted in this house. Really nice high backs and high sides, which you can obviously let down. That's how we got it in the house eventually, or Charlie got it in. We had to cut along here, cut one of the wings off, but so beautiful. And I just had a seat and it is literally the most comfortable sofa I think I have ever experienced. And the color is not dissimilar to our George Smiths, which is perfect. <laughs> Dicky looks so regal. Come on, bunny, let's go through. It's very comfortable, mommy, but there's not many places that I can climb up the back, so we might have to get me some, some new cushions. It's got a lovely trim with this red thread running through, and it's kind of like an amber-colored corduroy. Really beautiful. So Charlie's family have now gone home. We have the house to ourselves again and we're just going to watch the rest of... Look at these two. <laughs> oh, you silly little boys. We're going to watch the rest of Harry Potter on the iPad while the fire goes down. I just went up into the bedroom and turned the Dyson fan on and the air quality in our bedroom, which is directly above here, is not very good at the moment. So we need to purify the air before we go to bed. Um, but... We shown the new sofa. I have actually shown the new sofa. You did very well choosing that one, darling. We talked about how we got in here. Oh my gosh, I know. Do you want to explain what you had to do? So it's a weird sofa because, I mean, this is the challenge of measuring things. It's a weird sofa because obviously it's a two-seat sofa. It's quite a small sofa, but it is a really hard um, measurements, dimensions. Mm. And to get it in our front door and our back door. So today the poor delivery guys arrived and they're such nice chaps. And uh, they deliver furniture, obviously, for a living, so they're fairly experienced. So we tried to get in the back door, uh, managed to get it into the kitchen. Then we moved the unit in the kitchen, which is by the door there. Did to get you? It in there. Oh my god! Didn't get it in there, right? <gasps> so then I'm like vacuuming around and like because all the mess we made. Mm. Then they took the door off the hinges that goes <gasps> from the kitchen into the dining room. No. Into the dining room. No. Get it through the door that leads up from the dining room. Oh my god. And then we'd already tried the front door, sorry, and that didn't work. So then we went back to doing the front door, tried it in so many different ways, took these off, took the feet off, and they literally were like, there's no way you're getting it in. And I said, well, what if I take this off? Because it's on hinges. Mm. So I had to use a standing eye <laughs> and cut the fabric. You oh can't see god. it from here, and it's actually not obvious at all. It's totally secure because this holds it, and then the. the the um, brackets That's screwed in. Place. in. Yeah. So all that we're eventually going to have to do, if we decide it is necessary, is get Caroline, who lives in the village, to just stitch this this back together. Because I guess it could fray, couldn't it? But the thing is, that sofa is going to end up in this gap here with a side table. You're never going to see this side of the sofa. Yeah. So in the end, yeah, they were like the guys were like you have to explicitly accept it's an antique sofa. And it, it was the last resort, but I'm glad we did it because we got it in here. Mm -hmm. but and it we'll have a new sofa, sofa here soon. Hours. And the rest. Crazy. But as you can tell, we are going to snuggle up. <laughs> have you taken mummy's space? Look at this ultra fluffy doggy. Have you ever seen such a fluffy little boy? Oh, you're lovely. No. So I'm snuggled up on the sofa with my three boys to watch Harry Potter on the iPad. You might be thinking, why are you not watching it on your sky glass? But we have wheeled it out into the post area so that we can fit more furniture in here um, for when we've got family over at Christmas. And then it'll be wheeled back in after all of that so that we can watch more TV and films in here because this room is where we just love to spend so much time during the winter months. I'm starting to sound really quite snotty. Oh dear, lots of lemon soup for me tomorrow. Um, but yeah, this is the perfect place for watching Harry Potter. And what have you got, Snuffler? It's, this is an Eccles cake, mm. but an Eccles cake is just a mince pie. Like, are you sure this is an Eccles cake? Yeah, that's what they said at Quince and Clover. Well, it's basically like phyllo pastry. Here's that puff pastry. And then it's filled with like raisins and stuff that's exactly like mince meat. Hmm. Not so, mince meat. 
Well, that's what they call it, don't they? Mince meat. That's so what it's called. But there's it? no meat in it. Why is it called that? I imagine there used to be meat in them. That's what Yucky. I can see. Well, give us your rating. Mm. Is it heated up? You didn't warm it up? Lovely, lovely. It's nice. Can I have a bite? I thought you were going to give me that bit then. <laughs> we eat as a family. Yes. That's a mince pie. It's a bit more savoury. Do you think it is just a mince pie? No. I think that's more savoury. Anyone knows the difference between a mince pie and an echoes cake? Let us know down just below. Doing it really, but... Yeah, but it's more fun to get everyone's different opinions because some people might be wrong and it might be quite comedic. Um, isn't there a place called Eccles? So is it from Eccleston's there? Eccles Yard. No, just Eccles. Mm -mm. I don't what? know. It's anyway. everyone's favourite Harry Potter film, there's the question. Oh, it's got to be Philosopher's Stone, no, which we're going to tune into. No, Order of the Phoenix. No, new ones aren't as good. But fun. darling, so this is the end of the penultimate Vlogmas. Tomorrow's the last one, which Charlie's thrilled about. Aren't you, Joe? I am a little bit thrilled about it. Yeah. It has been quite intense, been a lot. hasn't it? Been a lot of videos, a lot of editing. So darlings, that's all from me for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow for the final of Vlogmas. Good night. Yeah, it was a little